guys, I'm back for another first impression review and this is one of Revlon's latest foundations. It's called the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect. They came out with an airbrush effect mousse several years ago, three years ago, and I actually did a review on it. So if you want to see that, check it out. But this one is a new and improved formula. It says on the website that it looks flawless in any light. Then also it has an SPF of 20. It contains one fluid ounce and it retailed for about $15 at Rite Aid. I love that this foundation has a pump. Any foundation with a pump is a thumbs up for me. The shade I'm wearing today is in 04 Nude. Look at that. So it looks to be a like a thicker liquid. I gave the foundation about two minutes to set. But compared to my left side, you can see that my skin does look pretty flawless, but my skin still looks natural. It doesn't look too heavy. It doesn't feel heavy. I do notice really tiny specks of glitter, which is kind of weird. Um, you can totally see it on my hand, the remnants of the foundation. Can you see some of that glitter? I guess that's what's supposed to give me like that radiant look. I'm kind of curious to see how that would look in flash photos, but we'll test that here in a minute. And on my zit, I had to put a little bit more, so I put just about a second layer around my zit and around my nose, because you can see the redness peeking through. So with one layer, it is medium coverage, and then with a second layer, it just covers a little more I'd say medium to full coverage. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face and then I'll let you know my thoughts. So it's been about 10 minutes since I applied the foundation. I did put a light setting powder all over my face. Maybe I'm just staring too much, but I seriously feel like Edward Cullen. And I'm not sure how this is gonna look in flash photos. Other than the glitter part, I do like the foundation. I like the coverage. I like how easy it is to blend and apply. Anyways, okay, so let's do the flash photo test. Oh, hey, dude, I look really good. I just look so fresh and awake. And to my surprise, those little glitters all over my face, it doesn't make me look like a disco ball. So I'm gonna wear this throughout the day. It is almost noon. I'll check back in natural light in a few hours. So it is now three in the afternoon. I want to jump in in natural light and my skin looks flawless. Look how glowy I look. And then, dun dun dun, you come up close. And then you straight up look like a vampire from Twilight. Look how glittery I am. Oh my goodness, I just can't get, why did they put so much glitter? That totally throws me off because every time I walk by a mirror, I'm like, wow, this foundation's really beautiful. And then I come into my makeup room and look straight into a mirror and it's just full on glitter. Man, for the camera though, for the camera, it looks amazing. This is photo ready airbrush effect. Now this looks great on photos. Maybe I should wear this only when I'm taking photos, but I'm not seen by anybody in person. This is just redonkulous. I'm just gonna follow up at the end of the night. It is about 9.45 in the evening, and it comes to no surprise that I still see the glitter all over my face. It seems more noticeable maybe in this lighting. And some of the foundation has rubbed off, like a mine zit is clearly exposed now, and also around my nose area, but I've been blowing my nose all day today because I have a slight cold. Um, but everywhere else, it seemed to have stayed put. I can still see the blush and the contour on my face. And I don't think I look too oily in my T-zone, so it held up pretty well. If it weren't for the tiny sparkles in here, I would have really loved this foundation. I think it looks awesome in photos. It applies really well and very easily. It has great coverage. And for the most part, like, it stayed on all day. So anyway, that's my thoughts on this foundation. Let me know your thoughts if you have tried this out. And also comment below and let me know what video you would like to see next. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.